that you're so beautiful and you're so fragile. I hope nothing awful ever happens. She was looking to be picked up just after nine to go out for a night of socializing. The door was ajar and there was blood everywhere. My mom said Aaron had been killed by you know, a bad person. It's a horror movie that is your life. It's just broken hearts everywhere. It never goes away. It never goes away. The reality had sort of set in that this was probably going to go unresolved. This guy's a ghost. He was a ghost. A long time friend of my father's had called. She had been murdered. The police were all of a sudden, we've got another case. It's one offender. You can't complete the story without bringing this individual to justice. We like to build DNA profiles that are so comprehensive that you can actually point down to the family they belong to in a family tree. He comes from really good people. He's probably one of my best friends. What's that like when he opens the door and you see him for the first time? It's a bit surreal because we know why we're there. He knows why we're there. And I said, uh, there's two families here that have gone through hell. And I said, it's time to do the right thing, man. I often wonder, did he try to put this out of his mind? Was he thinking about it every night when he went to bed? Were you just waiting for that knock on the door?